everybody, Christian here from AndroidUnite.com. Uh, I am doing a quick review of uh, an application called Droid Moat. Uh, now this is a two-piece uh, two application. One of them is the server, the second one is the client. Um, pretty much I bought this uh, Transformer Prime as you can see here with the keyboard dock and uh, I got a really good deal off of Craigslist and my intention was uh, to hook it up to my HDTV and be able to, you know, uh, do Modern Com Combat 4 with my MOGA controller or uh, play movies off of MX Player or um, you know stream music off of Spotify and uh, I'll do it all through my TV with a uh, you know just with a um, HDMI cable and what I kept finding out was that I kept you know getting up the you know to change songs or to dismiss notifications or to um, you know do little things like that and, and after a while it started getting a little bit annoying um, since I don't exactly have the best setup uh, for my living room my recliner is is quite a bit away from the TV and so um, not being able to control my tablet like I could my PC through my phone kind of was getting annoying started doing a little bit of research and found out that there was a way to control your tablet with your Android uh, rooted phone and so I'm going to demonstrate that uh, right now. So as you can see, I've got my Galaxy S4 here. Please uh, disregard all the fingerprints. Um, and I've got my, obviously, my Galaxy, uh, I'm sorry, my um, Transformer Prime here. And I go to this Droid Mode server, which is available in the Play Store for, I believe, $2.50. Now you don't have to pay for the client, but you do have to pay for the server, and the server goes on whatever device you're actually trying to control. So the, the client would go on my phone or any other Android rooted device, um, which would act as a remote, and then the server would go on the tablet itself, and you would start up the, um, the server. Very simple. The first time you do it, it's going to pop up one of those um, super user requests. You just click accept, and you'll be good to go. Uh, every time after that, all you'll have to do is press this big green button, and um, it'll get started here. I'm not sure if it registered my touch there, so I'm going to go ahead and do it again. And as you can see, it, it asks for permissions, and now the button turns red. At this point, it gives me an IP address here at the bottom with a port. Now, I don't have to worry about the port, just the IP address. I go ahead and open up the client here, which is at the uh, top start it up this is what you'll be greeted with you go to menu and uh, it's currently connected but I'll go to disconnect just to show you so you would go to menu and connect it would ask you to enter the IP address which I've already done so this is the IP address of the tablet on my Wi-Fi network both do have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network so I just select it and you can see over here connected to droid mode server and this is the setup pretty much. I've got the ability to use a mouse, as you can see there, moving in the background with my finger. So left, right, left, right. Um, you've got the ability to use the uh, Android buttons here at the top. I can go home. I'm not in an app, but if I was, I could click the menu button and it would pop up the menu. I have a back button here, so let's go ahead and start up an application. Let's say I wanted to do Dropbox. So starting up Dropbox, pressing the back button will take me back to the home menu. I've got the scroll button here with two arrows, so let me open up uh, Chrome really quick. I was uh, looking at Google News, and so I would press the scroll button, and now I would have the ability to scroll up and down with my finger. And unclick if you want to go back to the mouse you can see it there moving around and finally keyboard so let's say I go up here to the browser tab you know the browser bar and click on the keyboard which just popped up and go to excuse me really quick while I type in androidunite.com and there you go it is loading up our website um, I've already written a story here about which I'm going to um, link the video inside of so uh, just a heads up there if you want a little bit more in-depth review about this application go ahead and visit our website www.androidunite.com but moving on we've got uh, three other tabs here we were in the first going to the second 
we've got this uh, directional pad. Um, you still have the normal buttons here at the top, home menu, power, search, multitask, and back. But you also have this circle here. So let me show you. Let me go to somewhere that can use it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the home button. And just with my cursor just, you know, free floating, I'm going to go ahead and go to the directional pad. And you can see that different apps are getting highlighted. I'm on Facebook right now. So I'm going to go to the right, Instagram, go back to Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, up to Tweetcaster. So just, you know, and of course it's got the select button here in the center if I wanted to go ahead and go into one of those. Uh, but moving on, we've got the media controls. So let me go into Spotify and start up a song. Let's see. Wait for these to load. Okay, so this is a song I, you know, I recently got Spotify, so I don't have that many. Okay, so then I'm going to go to the media controls, turn down the volume. I can go ahead and skip. As you can see, everything, I can pause, everything works great. I can go to, let's say, um, a game if I were playing a game, which I'm, I, this is honestly the only feature I haven't tried, so let me start up uh, Modern Combat 4 and see if everything responds with the joysticks. Go into campaign mode, click on continue. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up my joystick, which turns sideways. And that's the selection. You've got a directional pad on the left uh, over here, and then you've got all sorts of letters and stuff on the right that can potentially be mapped and uh, used for gameplay. So, again, I've never done this with this specific one. Let me see if it'll work. Okay, so it does work. Now I can't turn or anything, which is kind of sad. Let's see if I can shoot. That's reload. Oops. I can't turn left or right, but I can go up or down, you know forward or back. Now I'm not sure what I would I would press to actually shoot. Doesn't seem like any of these are actually working for shooting. I can zoom in, can move left and right, forward and back, but I can't seem to change the direction I'm looking in or shoot, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's what the MOGA controller is for. And honestly, the MOGA controller is awesome. Imagine me hooking my tablet up to my HDTV and then using my MOGA controller from my couch. That is pretty sick. So if you're a gamer, um, this uh, you know joystick pad on this uh, Droid Mote might not be the best choice because honestly it might not be compatible with all games as you can see here. But the rest of the features are unbelievable. The fact that you have all, uh, access to all four Android buttons, access to a scrollable button, keyboard, uh, a mouse cursor, um, as well as uh, you know directional pad and uh, music controls this thing is pretty sick so I would highly suggest that you drop the two dollars and fifty cents to purchase the server of course the client is free and the client goes on the actual phone or whatever other Android rooted device you've got um, this thing is really convenient it honestly is the best for watching movies skipping songs on Spotify um, and you know anything else you might want to throw at it Again, this is Christian with a review of the Droid Mode server and client. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to um, also go, go visit the website at www.androidunite.com for a full review of this app. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.